On this day in history, FDR escapes assassination. In Miami, February 15, 1933, a deranged, unemployed brick lawyer named Giuseppe God knows what Zangara shouts, too many people are starving, and fires a gun at America's president-elect Franklin D. Roosevelt. Roosevelt had just delivered a speech in Miami's Bayfront Park from the back seat of his open touring car when Zangara opened fire with six rounds. Five people were hit. The president escaped injury, but the mayor of Chicago, Anton Cermak, was also in attendance, received a mortal stomach wound in the attack. Several men tackled the assailant and might have beaten him to death if Roosevelt had not intervened telling the crowd to leave justice to the authorities. Zangara later claimed, I don't hate Mr. Roosevelt. Personally, I hate all officials and anyone who is rich. He also told the FBI that chronic stomach pain led to his action. That's what it's for. I have old time. Old time in the mind of the capitalist is killing me. I suffer from this thing in the stomach for the capitalist. He knows it's the capitalist and I have a little sickness in my stomach. You don't kill him. You're not president. No. Since my stomach hurt, I want to make even with the capitalist by kill the president. My stomach hurt long time. Ugh. Zangara's extreme action reflected the anger and frustration felt among many working Americans during the Great Depression. At the time of the shooting, Roosevelt was still only president-elect and had yet to be sworn in. His policies remained untested, but reports of Roosevelt's composure during the assassination attempt filled the following day's newspapers and did much to enforce Roosevelt's public image as a strong leader. Unsubstantiated reports later claimed that Zingaro's real target had been Cermak and hinted as at guards connection to organized crime in Chicago. Zangara was initially tried for attempted murder and sentenced to 80 years in prison. But when Mayor Cermak later died of his wounds, Zangara was retried and sentenced to death. Zangara died on the electric chair on March 5th, 1933. That buzz. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and uh, belly pains are not a reason to attack our president, but be sure to leave your comments below.